My issue and fear with this whole thing is that this sort of announcement doesn't really come from a place of sincerity or the welcoming of diversity, but rather a malformed practice of malicious guerrilla marketing that disguises itself as some form of progressive movement for the video game industry, as many other media have done in the past, but in reality, it's not true and is made, again, solely for marketing purposes. There! I saved you a couple of minutes of your life, now please leave your comments on how homophobic I am, because let's be honest, you only clicked on this video because the title made you mad as hell without even thinking about why my argument could be valid or invalid so fuck off bye see ya otherwise for those of you sticking around hi i'm sorry i was i was i was really mean to you earlier i'm really sorry about that i know you're much smarter than most other people would you like a cup of coffee maybe like tea or probably a hoagie I'm being nice to you because I want you to be a subscriber, can't you tell? Anyway, I'm sure you've already heard about Soldier 76 being announced to be a homosexual. And I'm sure you've all seen the varying reactions all over the internet. Most people thought it was a pretty great thing. Others thought it was pointless. And very vocal minorities, well, they thought it was stupid and they did rather just have Soldier 76 be straight. Because that's, that's just how it should be. I don't know why it should be that way, but I sure, I guess, why not? We're not going to focus on them, though. Not entirely. Our main focus is on Blizzard, and the intent behind the announcement. See, I've covered this sort of topic before on a video whose subject was similar to this announcement of Soldier 76 coming out. It was on Power Rangers and how the movie producers announced that one of the main characters was openly gay. I saw that announcement, I guess pessimistically, as a sort of scummy tactic to get people hyped up for your movie. Not many people were excited to watch a Power Rangers reboot, and not a lot of buzz was being generated, so during that time period they announced that one of the characters was gay. And then there was also another character that had autism. You can see my response to this in the video itself, linked on the upper right hand corner of this video, but to sum it up, it's deceptive, really. But what I found kind of surprising was how the LGBTQ community was eating it all up, as if it were the greatest thing ever at the time. Not only that, but there were some people within the LGBT community also commenting on my video where they essentially just said, yeah, it, it is scummy, but honestly, we'll take whatever representation we can get. And I find that kind of odd. I don't think any minority group should ever be satisfied with what they get, but rather should be satisfied by a strong representative and not by some cash grab character made to appeal the masses or whatever niche group they're trying to appeal. That's how I see Soldier 76 and with most people's response. I don't care much that he's gay. I care more that he's just a tool used for PR purposes. However, this is just assuming that Blizzard had this in mind. Like I said, I'm sure all of you have seen other people's reactions to him being announced as gay, but I'm willing to bet most of you don't even know how it was announced. It's important we know how he was announced before we start talking about how scummy he is, because honestly, if it were subtle, it'd be fine. It's not in your face. I'm I'm gay. Wow, look at this diversity we got here. Holy shit. Though maybe that's just what happened. Well, let's just dive into this. Actually, there's not much to dive into. The way he was announced was very subtle, actually. It was through a short story called Bestat or Bastet or fuck me, I can't pronounce anything, can I? That was supposed to kick off an event specifically for Anna. Towards the end of this short story, Anna and Jack, well, that being Soldier 76, reminisce over an old photo from when they were much younger and much happier. Among those photos, was a peculiar one of Jack and another man named Vincent. And through subtle dialogue, it's revealed that Jack and Vincent were once lovers, but Jack couldn't really continue the relationship because he cared more about being a soldier and protecting the people he loved than being a retired veteran. And of course, I say subtle, I mean, they just outright say he was in a relationship with him. I don't want none of y'all saying, it wasn't subtle. It was, it was subtle. It, it's not like they were like, oh, remember when you were gay and you fucking banged a man? We remember <laughs> it, it, it was subtle compared to this anyways I guess. Now, I can be pessimistic here and spin this in a way that suits my narrative by saying the fact that this dialogue was saved towards the end as some sort of grand resolution. At least that's what it kind of seems like. It, it sort of makes it seem like Blizzard was like, eh? Eh? He's gay. Gotcha, didn't we? But honestly, I don't think it's like that. I've seen quite a few joke tweets made by a couple of people I follow who've all basically said that Blazer, Blazered? 
the fuck? Blizzard made too much of a big deal out of this. But honestly, this isn't what I see. I see a lot of people who overreacted and started screaming, yes, queen, slay over this when they read it. There was no video announcement made by Blizzard talking about how great it is to have another gay character or anything like that. In fact, the event this is tied with has nothing to do with Soldier 76, but instead Ana. It's really just everyone else that made a big deal about it than Blizzard. Hell, I, I even read a Forbes article talking about that Blizzard should be more open about it and not subtle as they were with this story, and that they should have some sort of crazy LGBTQ uh, representative event, like a pride event, which is just fucking stupid. But that being said, I'm still not convinced that this wasn't some planned idea. I mean, call me paranoid, but I just don't like the fact that it took so long to announce this in the first place. Tracer wasn't announced to be gay until about seven months after the game was released, which is a fair amount of time. But when was Soldier 76 announced to be gay? Two years later. Well, more precisely, two years and a month later. And I feel like this speaks volumes, not just for Blizzard, but for mainstream media in general. I already ranted about this on Twitter, but I've always hated the fact that lesbians were the safe bet LGBTQ representation. Like, oh yeah, we have a gay person. You see gay people? See, these two are really hot women, and they're lesbian. Yeah, bruh, we, we're diverse as fuck. We got two smoking hot lesbos just waiting to grow on each other. <laughs> I mean, let's be real here. The only reason why women are allowed to be gay on television or any other mainstream media is really because of the fact that they've been fetishized for years and years. Women kissing on TV isn't really controversial, but when men do it, oh god, barricade the door, boys, because we got a riot on our hands. Oh, but don't make any of the dudes gay because that'd be too gay. You, you don't want people to think that this game is like gay or something or made for homo. <laughs> this is a manly man game for men. See, that's another problem I always have with these sort of announcements. It takes so long for people to actually grow some balls and make a male character gay. But when people want to have diversity, BAM! We got a lesbian! Easy! That's not to say lesbians don't also get their share of controversy, but for more companies, they, they see it as a safe option as opposed to having a gay man kissing in front of a television or in a game. The only time men are allowed to kiss is during a comedic scene. Haha, ha, isn't it funny that two men just kissed? Isn't that just outrageous? Isn't it just icky, dumpy, poopy, ew? Eh? Funny, right? I'm getting off topic here, I'm sorry. So, okay, Soldier 76 is gay, but Blizzard didn't really make a big deal out of it. Yes, one of the writers came out and celebrated the idea, but other than that, there was no glowing pedestal that held Blizzard high atop the mountains. They held a rainbow-tinted trophy that read, We're diverse as fuck. Fuck you, Trump, or whatever. So I'll give Blizzard that. Though there is the issue of why. Because really, why? Why is it now that we find out that Soldier 76 is gay? Does this add anything to him? In reality, one's sexual orientation, in my opinion, doesn't add much depth, but the love interest that the, that said character has does. So for those people who are raging in the Blizzard forums all simultaneously asking, what's the point of this being announced? Or what's the point of Soldier 76 being gay? I can almost understand their point of view. And see, it's not because I'm homophobic or a Nazi or whatever you want to label me as so you don't have to interact with me ever again, but because I agree with the statement. What does Soldier 76's sexuality add? I'm subscribed to the belief that someone's sexual orientation does not make up a person. I've seen many people on social media who always put on their profiles what their sexual orientation is, and that's fine. You want to share your personal life to people, and that's okay. My issue stems from when those people act that certain way. So let's say there's someone named Tanya, and on her profile page she identifies as pansexual. Let's, let's go with pansexual. Because of this, Tanya acts like a pansexual, and surrounds herself with a pansexual artwork, pansexual stickers, pansexual comics, etc, etc. But what does this tell me about her? She's pansexual, but what else? Is she a carefree person? Is she a hard worker? Is she outgoing? Is she friendly or what? See, to me, I'm more going to be paying attention on how Tanya acts to other people, or to people she's never met, or the opinion she has outside of her sexuality to see who she is, because being pansexual tells me nothing about herself, really. Being a certain sexuality and letting that characterize you 
is about as silly, and I know I'm gonna get a lot of hate here, but I think it's as silly, if not dumber, than associating your personality to your astrological sign. Oh, I'm, I'm a fucking cancer. I gotta act like a cancer. It says so on this stupid little fortune cookie I read. Similarly, oh, I'm gay. I gotta act gay and talk gay and dress gay cause I'm gay everyone. I'm fucking gay. Isn't that interesting about me that I'm gay? Gay. Nothing wrong with taking pride in your sexuality, nor is there anything wrong with standing up for your rights to be your sexuality. But if that's all you are, then you're just kind of acting like a stereotype and you're just not being yourself, which I feel is contaminating your community and somewhat harming its cause. But that's just me. Y Y'all can call me a lambasting homophobe all you want. I, I don't care. At the same time, however, I don't totally agree with those angry trolls over at the Blizzard forum. Because while everyone is making the argument of what does this add to Soldier 76 as a character, seldom anyone is asking what does this remove from Soldier 76 as a character. And honestly, nothing. Soldier 76 is still a cool grandpa with an interesting backstory and a cool design. Him being gay doesn't remove that. He will still play the same way and his story hasn't changed at all. You see, when you ask questions like this, what was the point of this, you also gotta wonder the other side of the argument, otherwise you're just gonna come off as a whiny bitch man baby who hates change. You know who else hated change? That's right. This fucking dog, get off the fucking couch, I told you- Get out of there, stupid muck, get off! <sighs> Look, researching into this video, I really thought there was something bad about Soldier 76's reveal. Really, really I did. I thought of it initially as pandering, but seeing the way that this had been strewn together, I can't really complain too much. I still think Soldier 76 being gay is sort of a random decision, almost like the writers were like, phew, okay. Tracer was announced to be gay. Uh, fucking, uh, let's spin the wheel of queers. No, wait, that, but, but he's a guy, though. Oh, that, that might be controversial. Um, mm. well, let's, let's just sweep him under the rug until we really, really need to use him. Do you guys not have phones? Yeah, you guys that, all have phones. Phone, right? Holy shit, we gotta get this heat off of us fast. What, what, what do we got? What, what do we got? Oh, uh, Soldier 76, he, he's gay. P perfect, perfect. Now everyone will love us for being diverse. Sir, we, we've never ever hinted at, at Soldier 76 being gay before. How are we going to work this into the main story? Uh, uh, what, what about this? What, 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 what is it? This, this photo, this photo, what is it? Oh, uh, well, that's supposed to be Soldier 76's best friend. Fuck it, they're lovers, they're fucking lovers. They, they love, they really, really love Amy. Fuck it, just put it in the script. Put, put it in the script. We're good, we're good. Honestly, I'm just being a cynical cunt. I'm glad Soldier 76 is gay. It widens the spectrum of diversity and it gives the LGBTQ community a better selection of gays to choose from. You know, better than some shitty random stereotype. At the same time, I, I don't want people to come out with this whole debacle thinking that Soldier 76 is the greatest thing to ever happen to the gay community. He's gay. He's not Martin Luther King, alright? He's not standing up for gay pride or fighting for the gays only. The character himself is fighting for everyone. Everyone's right to love and everyone's right to justice. He's not prejudiced and neither should you be. He's not the exception. He's just like anyone else. A man who believes in everyone's right to safety and he's willing to help anyone and do anything to ensure a brighter future for everyone. Even if that means sacrificing his own chances at a happy life. Thanks for watching. I'll see y'all next time. I love y'all. Goodbye.